some video pro- uh, well, the entire, uh, Aztec temple that me and my friend have made. Uh, through the replay mod. I use, um, Patrix Textures, which is P-A-R-T- uh, wait, P-A-T-R-I-X Textures, which is the resource pack. And then I use Zeus Renewed Shaders, as well as using Optifine. Uh, this is fabric as well. Anyway. First off, what we created was the exact outline of the first layer. And we did the first half off the video, obviously, so that you, uh, for video viewing pleasure. But what we have done here is that we have created the first layer with a three block line of slabs. It is a four block uh, high wall with an inverted line of stairs. As you can see here, I'm in the middle of adding the slabs down. With this, my friend over here is in the middle of starting to make a brazier using a campfire and four signs as I create the wall. I'm creating the wall, it is two and then it's two again, uh, or it may be one and then four, but in my, uh, it may, it may be, no, it's, it's four. It's four blocks high from the start of the slab. And then we continued up from there all the way up. So as you can see, he's making the inverted slabs. Well, the inverted, the inverted stairs as I'm making the, the layer for the wall. And then I realized that it was a bit too short. He helped me fix that by making the line of where the slabs are going to go. And uh, I then created the uh, other layers so that we had a, uh, a, a view of what it's going to look like for each layer. We then created, uh, as I'm fixing here, we then created... Uh, what my friend is doing is that he's doing the slabs, uh, the slabs over here as I'm continuing to look at the stuff. So now I've uh, measured out where the slabs are so that it's even, and now I'm gonna continue placing down the slabs here so that it is uh, covered. So it's uh, at the temple, it's it's going to be elevated on each one. So it's four blocks inverted stair slabs, and then four blocks inverted stairs than slabs. So as you can see, I'm over here looking around, checking, as I am now creating the slabs, the three, the three slabs across from the edge of the sec the next layer, as my friend is uh, continuing to make the wall. I then create the inverted stairs to the edge, all the way around. It's a bit of a pain because there's no in like there's no help. So I'm like, forget this, and then I did the slabs. I did uh, the inverted stairs. All the way across and then I created the slabs over the top so that it, it uh, completed the edge then I created more well he finished the upside down stairs as I continued to finish this area over here up here I'm in the middle of creating the the slabs for the rest of the building and then I uh, and then I realized that it was the perfect amount over here I'm then now creating the Full, uh, the inverted stairs on the, the third to final level, the se last, the second to last level. So if I go up here, I can show you the entire view of what it is. Uh, he's over here making braziers as I'm in the middle of uh, trying to make the slab. As you can see, this is the brazier. It's fireplace with, uh, yeah, fireplace with four stair slab signs, as well as the stairs to make uh, to make it like a plinth. And then. As you can see here, I'm back to uh, continuing the wall on the outside so that it is the uh, full length of the building. Uh, the, vid the, the video is a bit laggy because it's, uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of stuff going on, plus it's, it's, it's sped up to, for viewing pleasure. So I'm in the middle of making the last final part of the slabs across the entire edge. And then I'm adding the inverted stairs for the final part as he has finished the rest of the braziers. Uh, once I finish this, I then begin the top of the, uh, the top of the temple, creating a flat top using the spiral technique. Pretty much what it is is that you're making a one, one uh, wall around the entire thing in a spiral pattern until you make it to the center. My friend's like, there's an easier way. I'm like, it don't matter much. But my friend uh, then starts making, finishing the last braziers on the top of the, 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 uh, 
public temple as I'm in the middle of finishing this up. He's like, you, there's an easier way, so then he starts doing a 3x3. Three three. So I'm, I'm still doing the same, the same pattern I was doing before, and as he's doing the 3x3. Three three. And as you can see, the, fin the finished product is, is actually is very nice. We are going to do the inside later. So in so he starts creating the indent for where the two entrances for the Aztec temple are going to be located. So at the top here, he I go over and check uh, what the entrance looks like from the beginning. This is what it looks like fully. The entire temple is very big. Uh, so what we do is that he's creating these little gray concretes, uh, the gray the gray concrete so that you can, uh, the gap for each one. And, um, I'm saying, well, maybe we can add the, the indents in the middle. He's like, it's something like that, but, uh, we'll fix it a bit later. So now I'm in the middle of helping him finish his side. I didn't realize that he extended it until later. So his side's bigger than mine for a little bit of it. As we, uh, continue building the, uh, entire edge of this, we have a gap in between each one of the concretes so that we know uh, what the entire length of it is. So he starts building his uh, his entrance area with a gap in between for his color. His is red, mine's purple, but because of the texture pack, it's going to look white on your end. So there's a gap in between each one. This is a three block, and this is a four block. So I made mine one. I made mine two tinier than his. So I finished the entire edge. I'm like, okay, this is makes perfect sense here uh, because they're the exact same width but not length. So I finished the side. I finished the rest of it. I then go here, and I'm like, he says three, two, three. I'm like, wait, that makes no sense. Mine's two, two, two. He's like, and then he told me that mine was smaller than his. I it made it to day here. So. We're over here fixing it. I added the extra, the extra two blocks, and then I fixed uh, the mess I made. I then fixed the problem I had and continued to make the outer edge of the wall, creating the uh, the full edge, and then finishing the top off. I then realized that this is a five and three, not a four and four, so I counted it out, and I'm like, wait, this isn't right. So I fixed it by making it one block further away on one side and the other one shorter on by one. I then finished the rest of the top of where the first part of it's going to be located, and then I added the gap in between each one. You can see here, I'm in the middle of making myself a lot more work by trying to do the entire roof when later I fixed it. Um, I continued the entire way around by, uh, and, and he's over here telling me that uh, it's not supposed to be like that. So later I fixed it. Uh, I went AFK for a second there. As you can see, he has the gap in between because his are hers, his are uh, vertical, vertical, and then mine are horizontal. So I then, uh, so I then continue to make more work for myself, and then I'm like, you know what? Forget about it. This is a lot more work than it has to be. So I did the entire wrap around, and I'm like, forget about it. So I go over and I break. No wait, no, I don't. I thought I broke. Never mind. I I, I continued to build for no reason. When I wasn't supposed to. And there I go. I break it. And then I fix it later. Because mine is supposed to be completely vertical. This is horizontal. And so I finish my part. I'm like. I start here. And then I start building mine out of purple. While his is red. And then I said. Am I doing this correctly? And then he comes over and checks. And then he breaks. He breaks it and says what I have to do for mine. And then, so he goes like that, and then for me, I uh, break the rest of the blocks up in the air. I fill up the rest of the, uh, the concrete, and it's purple concrete, but uh, and in reality, and, uh, we uh, continue all the way up. And then we, from here, we uh, go all the way to here, and uh, I realize that it, there's a gap in between uh, right there. So I go over and I fix it. He's like, uh, don't fix the rest of it, it looks good. So I make the gap. I then uh, add the gap in the middle so that there's a, a gap in the middle instead of everywhere else. So then I make this little uh, design 
where there's two lines and then it's one line, one long line, one line, and then two short lines at the top. From there, I then uh, did the back. And then from the, I did the side, I, and then I realized that I was supposed to do the side as well. So from there, I break the entire back. I go down, I look at the side that I already did. I break the all the walls that I needed to from the edge. I break it, I check where it has to be, it's gap above the rest of the wall, and then I continue to go all the way up to the top. As you can see here, I'm making the, uh, the uh, design for the horizontal, not vertical, uh, lines that uh, he's doing. Over here, he made the full vertical lines across the entire edge as I'm finishing up the back. And then from there, we continue on, I uh, finish the rest of the roof up to the top, and then I add the side, and he's like, you also have to do the side, so I'm like, wait, wait, really? And then right after that, right after I finish this part, I realize that I'm supposed to break the walls and do the sides. As you can see here, I'm, uh, I then start breaking the sides of the wall for the rest of the film. From here, I then break the rest of the wall all the way up, and then I realize that I have, I have a three block gap here instead of a four block gap, and then a five block, so that I break that, and it's, it's good to go. Then, from there, I create the same design I did on the front, the, the short, short, long, uh, short, 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 long, short, 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 and then I do the same thing on the other side, breaking uh, the entire length of the wall on the same side that the other side was. As you can see over here, he's finished his, his side, Looking at it, check it and see if it looks good uh, as I can uh, continue to finish the rest of the wall all the way up. And he then finishes the roof, adds the gap later as I finish up the, the wall here. And then I proceed to go on the inside of the build and uh, do the inside by completely edging the all the white, well, all the purple technically with uh, a, an edge of stone bricks uh, to neaten up the room, get rid of the, all the jagged edges, and completely fill in the blank space. I then uh, fill up the entire top with it as well. And then I uh, then add a layer of uh, slabs uh, right here. I add a slab for each one, and then I added the slab layer there. So then I then start creating hieroglyphics on the wall. I uh, make a bunch of different designs for what it is, but uh, it, it, there's, the finished product actually looks better than what I was trying to make here. I'm like, I made a face, and he's like, cool, but then I made a better a better face for it uh, later, that which is this one. I created, I then created it on the other side, and then I then uh, started on the other side doing the same thing. This entire, uh, the entire bottom is a bunch of faces, for now, and then I break these, and then I add, uh, what looks like a, two people holding up a bar, what looked like a stone bar, in the middle, uh, there's the final part, and then I copy it to the other side. So when I did this, it was a lot easier for the final product, and then I realized that, uh, oh wait, that I, oh, yeah, it was different on this side than this side. Up here, I then add uh, the face again. Well, no, I add I add another type of, uh, it looks like a face, but it's just, it looks like two eyes, but it's supposed to act like a, two arches, two wheels, if you will. And then those are supposed to look like uh, horizontal, like uh, standing up towards the points. As uh, my friend starts, uh, we start doing his part. So then I fin finish the edge as he uh, begins to finish the up the rest of his, uh, the inside of his. So we finish the tops, and then I go over and try and finish mine. Uh, finishing the edge, and then finishing that one eye. Well, the two eyes that look uh, that are supposed to look like wheels, but they look like two eyes. From there, I then add, um, from here, I then add glowstone on each one of the corners. Uh, finishing it up, adding some touches, and then at the top, I, uh, at the top, I, I added lantern, I meant torches. Uh, 
well, I had the glowstone at the top, and then I had the torches over here. As my friend over here is doing his hieroglyph hieroglyphics. I then add the torches, as well as the torches up here, making the room a bit brighter. And on his side, he's in the middle of making his hieroglyph hieroglyphics, which uh, looks like... Uh, well, I would say, what, two arms, uh, or two people playing poker on, like, a table, if you... <laughs> but it's supposed to be, like, Aztec, uh, language, like, uh, hieroglyphics. As well as over here, I'm fully finished with mine. He finishes up his... Adds, adds the, the, the second part of the hieroglyphic to the top. And then he finished yeah he finished the top and then uh he then starts on his second layer of hieroglyphics he then uh starts the sides but he fixes this later it looks a bit weird but normally you're supposed to attach them at two points which he does making uh the same i the same design like uh, a big, like a T, if it looks like a uh, hieroglyphic of a TV. And then he uh, finishes up his side here. And, uh, we check the outside. It looks good. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the full length uh, video of uh, us. Uh, doing that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.